What's up, fucking family? Welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the week, Dollar Tree Haul Wednesday. Never called it that, but I usually upload my Dollar Tree Hauls on Wednesday. Before we begin, I uploaded a Come With Me to Dollar Tree video last week, and I asked you guys to say happy birthday to my future sister-in-law, Summer, and she was so, so happy reading the comments. I tried to take a little bit of footage of her reading the comments. You guys made her day. Happy birthday, Summer. Such a cutie. Ooh, I got a song. Hey, Summer. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I did not have it. <laughs> So I want to thank every single one of you who left her a happy birthday comment. She was so happy. I'm not even playing like she kept saying, I'm YouTube famous now. Her birthday is actually tomorrow, July 6th. She's going to be 21 years old. She is the youngest looking 21 year old I've ever seen in my life. So like I said, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. And as always, I like to start off my Dollar Tree haul with my favorite item that I found this week at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree right now has gotten some really good DVDs in. Dollar Tree always has DVDs in, but it's like movies I've never really heard of. It's not always like that, but most of the time it is where it's just movies I've personally never heard of but this week I was able to find some DVDs I've heard of there was Hotel Transylvania the blu-ray one for a dollar you guys right now for some reason I feel like I look like Pee Wee Herman anyways <laughs> I used to love Pee Wee's Playhouse. Anyways, yes, the Blu-ray version for a dollar. I'm all over the place, which is crazy. I didn't pick that up, though. What I did pick up was, I'll start off with this one. This is a Blu-ray disc of Paper Towns, which is by John Green. It's a book by John Green. He's also the one who did A Fault in Our Stars. He's actually a YouTuber and the um, person who started VidCon along with his brother. So Paper Towns, it says, get lost, get found. It has Cara Delevingne, I think that's how you say her name, that model in it, and Nat Wolf, which... I think he's a part of the Wolf Brothers, which is like a show that was on Nickelodeon, but I never really watched it. There's a little like notepad in here that says my paper notes, and then I see stickers. This next DVD I got matches my t-shirt or right here. I think he's right there, right there. Hey Arnold. I got a Hey Arnold Stoop Kid and Other Stories DVD. Okay, now Hey Arnold, I think you could probably watch it on Netflix. That's my guess. You could watch episodes. Um I know you can watch it on Nickelodeon, but I don't have cable myself. So it doesn't say if this is a bunch of episodes or if it's just one type of movie on the back, but I love to play DVDs like this in the background while I'm doing things. And then the last DVD that I got is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Best of Blue. So it's the original Blue Ranger, Billy Craston. Um, I was looking so bad for like Best of Pink because Kimberly was my girl and if I would have saw the other ones I would have bought them. The only one I could find was Blue Ranger Billy. There was a lot of Billy ones and I know like growing up Billy was like the least popular Power Ranger. I like all the Rangers nonetheless but Kimberly is my favorite and then Tommy's like close second. So that's it for the DVDs I got. I want to go to another Dollar Tree and check out some more DVDs. I got another item I was so happy to find. This is something I've hauled before and I've said it before. It's the best deal I've ever gotten at Dollar Tree and that is these Bride Magazines wedding invitations. Now I've said it before I had bought a bunch before I had gotten engaged for my sister and she used them as her invitation. She used different ones because she couldn't find enough of the same kind so I don't think it's bad to mix and match invitations if you can find them at a low price. So I was able to find only one box. I picked it up. I have enough invitations now to cover um, extras just in case I need it because I'm thinking you know there's gonna be people who are going to decline coming to my wedding and then I will have a spot opened up for somebody else. So I do want extra invitations so I found this box and now I have extra invitations. Before I just have enough to get me through the initial like um, invitation guest list. I have not seen this design before at Dollar Tree. It's purple. There's this purple ribbon with this purple design right here. Purple is actually my boyfriend's favorite color. My fiance's favorite color. Um, not mine. I'm not actually the biggest fan of purple. I don't think it's an ugly color but it's like not one of the first colors I would choose for something. I, I normally like gravitate toward white, red, um, pink definitely. My sister with the Dollar Tree invitations it only cost her ten dollars for all the invitations that she needed and then obviously you have to spend some money on ink because if you're going to print them out at home which they did they had to buy another pack of cartridges. I don't know how much it cost them. I think it was like 20 something for some more like printing ink. So I honestly, it cost them definitely under $50 for all of the invitations and they had 400. That's such a steal. I was watching a wedding coordinator's YouTube channel the other day and they were talking about how they did their wedding on a $10,000 budget and she said she spent $240 on invitations, which to her was a steal. So $10, that's like the biggest deal and that's why I keep saying it's the best like jackpot 
thing ever I found at Dollar Tree. Now this is the first time I've seen this at Dollar Tree from the Bride Collection. It's thank you cards. I've never seen thank you cards from um, the Bride Collection there. So they're a smaller little box. There's 40 cards inside of here with 40 envelopes and it's just this pretty white design and it says thank you on the front. The inside is blank so you can write whatever you want. It was kind of random though when I found these because this is at a Dollar Tree. I've been to multiple times and I haven't seen these so I don't know if Dollar Tree is getting a new wave in of them or maybe they just never put them out on their shelves. I got another super exciting item to share with you guys. I've been hauling these little cotton picks from Dollar Tree. I was so happy to find these but this week they got actual cotton stems like where it's nothing but cotton stems. These were on the side of all the flowers. They weren't mixed inside and I think it's because these stems are longer. Oh my gosh you guys. These are such a steal for a dollar. You're not going to find them at any other craft store for a dollar and they sell them just like this like a stem like this at Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics you're not gonna find them for a dollar unless it's probably off season and they're having like 60 70 percent off of the items if you can find these now pick these up I know it's summertime but I bet you these are gonna fly off the shelves and I don't know if they're gonna get them in again because normally when I do see the cotton round things like this I never see them again once they're on the shelf this is the first time I've ever seen them like this and I can see them just like going really fast so if you run into these and you want these pick them up now I really do suggest that I'm a sucker for fall stuff and every time I go into Dollar Tree now I see something new for fall and I just have to buy something I got two um, fall picks that have these pumpkins on them they're just so pretty I I love fall like oh it's just the best like when I think about fall I think about like wanting to hug it but it's not really there so then I'm just doing this to myself I know that's weird but it just makes me so happy and it's like the perfect weather in fall like I love Christmas too and I, it makes me so happy but then when I think of Christmas I also think crap winter but when I think about fall I think about leaves pumpkins really cute decor it's sweater weather I just love fall speaking of fall I picked up this pack of 12 acorns small little acorns I did pick this up last year and I used it as um, fillers inside of vases this time around I picked it up for my wedding because I might end up using this to scatter around I'm not positive though because I don't know if it's gonna look too too fallish we'll see but I picked it up just to kind of get an idea the next item I got is this two pack of Carmix Ultra Hydrating Moisture Plus Lip Balm. I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree. I decided to give it a try. There's SPF 15 in here and it's a soft vanilla flavor. I thought that was cool that there was two in this pack as opposed to just one. So that is the main reason why I got it. You know what's cool about this? On the back it says that for 80 minutes this is water resistant. I've never seen that on the back of um, like um, lip balms before. From the back to school section I ended up picking up this Girl, ain't nobody want to know that. Anyways, from the back to school collection, I got this pencil case that says my stuff. My pencils inside of my little vanity over there are all over the place. I was like, you know what? It's about time I get something to put all my pens and pencils inside of so that I can clean that up a bit. I think this is a really good deal. I got this two pack of plastic cups. It says Avenger Weights. Can't say that the design on this is anything to go like brag about. It's just pretty basic. But I do like the fact it was two for a dollar. These are reusable. I like to use cups like this to put water inside of. Little thing about me, I prefer tap water over bottled water. And I like to put ice inside, fill it up with tap water, and then drink this while I'm in the car, especially on hot summer days. So I do like cups like this just because they're easy to bring with me and they have the straws already in them. And I don't have to bring a cup from home and then end up forgetting to bring it back inside. If I left this in my car accidentally, I don't feel too bad about it. And the final item that I picked up from Dollar Tree this week was lots and lots of moss. You can't see it, but I got a bunch of moss on the ground. I think I told you guys for my theme, for my wedding, I wanted to involve moss. I want it to look woodland, so I want like little pieces of wood like this, um, moss incorporated. As you can see, I've got like moss right here. I'm starting to try to get an idea of exactly the centerpieces that I'm trying to do, but I do need moss because I'm going to be doing like um, the numbers for the table using this. I'm going to use this on top of the candelabras that I'm making. I'm going to show you guys what I end up doing and I'm going to have tutorials for it, but right now I'm still just trying to get an idea of what I want. And I do know a lot of it is going to involve moss. So I picked up mainly the floral moss. I am going to be purchasing moss from the craft store because they have a different array and variety of moss that I like that Dollar Tree doesn't carry. Like, I don't know what this is called right here, but it's just like this really pretty green moss. I, I don't have a clue what it's called and it's really, really fluffy. So yeah, it's not just going to be Dollar Tree moss, but the Dollar Tree moss I plan on mainly 
using around some candles and then also to do the table numbers like I said. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always I like to end my hauls with a question and last week I wanted to know how big your graduating class was and it was so cool to see that I'm not alone that there was other people out there who graduated with very small classrooms as well and then there was a lot of you guys with huge huge classroom sizes. Like I said my entire life I always went to very small schools so the thought of going to a school where like I graduated in a class of like 400 people it gives me anxiety like I feel like I wouldn't do well in a class that that, that was that big just because I'm just used to like there being nobody in my class. So for this week's question I have this image right here that says if you had to give up one for life which would it be? It doesn't say which would it be actually on the picture but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's what they mean. So it's between tacos, chicken wings, pizza, and burgers. Definitely not chicken wings. That is my favorite food ever. I love buffalo wings. Not tacos. You crazy. And then pizza. No, it's gonna be burgers. Burgers is actually something like I'll eat it if I have to but I'll never be like let's go eat get a burger. It's just one of those things that I'll eat because somebody made it or if it was like the only thing around but it's never anything where I'm like I want a burger. So burgers is what I would get rid of. So let me know which food you're gonna toss in the trash. So let me know which food you're gonna toss in the trash. Thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. You guys are awesome. Bye.